OK, so what I have here is a equation vertex form. And I want to graph y equals x plus 2 squared. And what we're going to do is we're going to graph this by rather than not creating a table, but just by applying it to our, um, our parent graph. Now our parent graph, you can see that my a value is 1, and h and k are both 0. Well, in this case, we have a little bit different uh, case. We still have a equals 1. But now we have h. All right, h is now going to equal uh, negative 2. And then we have k equals 0. Now, this confuses a lot of students. And remember, I made a video and talked about this. Remember, it's always it's x opposite of h. So it's x minus h. So therefore, it has to be negative 2 for it to be plus. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look and see how that's going to affect our graph. Now, remember, our h, what that did is that told us where to shift our graph left or right. K was dealing with up and down, and A dealt with either reflection or stretching and compressing. But H told us to shift left to right. So here, for you can see that H is equal to negative 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this parent graph and shift it left two units. A lot of times, we can just look at that and say, oh, it's x plus 2. And we always think that's to the right. But just remember, it's always to the opposite direction. So which points am I going to want to reflect or shift to left or right? Well, we have to shift the whole graph. But it's usually easiest to take our vertex and shift that point first. So our vertex was originally at 0, 0. I'm now going to move that over two units. Now, since my a has remained the same, right? the coefficient of my x squared term is still going to be 1, my graph is still going to have the relationship for its next two points as over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create that exact same relationship. Over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1 over 2, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And over 2, up 4. So there you go. Now we've graphed our quadratic. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a couple different things. Let's first look at the axis of symmetry. Now, the axis of symmetry here is, remember, the line that's going to go directly through your graph. And we knew that that point was at 0, 0. Or I'm sorry, it was at x equals 0. Well, now. You can see that my graph has shifted. And therefore, my axis symmetry has also shifted. And remember, the axis symmetry goes through your vertex. So I can see my vertex, the x value of my vertex is at x equals negative 2. So therefore, my axis symmetry is going to be the vertical line, x equals negative 2. Now my vertex, the point that I moved shifted over, is now shifted over 2 units. So therefore, that's at negative 2 comma 0. Um, and let's go and take a look at my y-intercept. So you can see my y-intercept is where my graph crosses the y-axis, which is at 1, 2, 3, 4. So we could say it's at 0, comma, 4. And then my x-intercept is where my graph crosses um, my x-axis. But my graph actually does not cross it at my x-intercept. It's actually just going to touch it at the point negative 2, comma, 0. So just remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's always dealing with the opposite inside of our function. And therefore, it's at x minus 2. So that's going to shift in it two units to the left. And we're just going to shift our parent graph. And there you go. Thanks.